How is MDS classified? MDS is a complex disease, and there have been many different classification systems. One of them is based on the prognosis. It's called the International Prognostic Scoring System. And depending upon the blood counts and the number of blasts in the bone marrow and the genetics, one can come up with a score for the best prognosis and the worst prognosis cases. Another way to characterize MDS is by looking at the bone marrow and describing what's going on in the bone marrow cells. The bone marrow morphology or the bone marrow appearance is used to classify MDS into slightly less than 10 different categories. And so it depends on whether they find cells that are called ring sitter blasts or not, what percent of the bone marrow is made up of blast cells, and then dysplasia, which is part of myelodysplasia, which means funny looking cells, we characterize MDS based on whether only one of the three types of blood cells looks funny in the bone marrow, or more than one. Multi-lineage dysplasia, as we call it, which means that the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the cells that make platelets all look funny when they're looked at in the bone marrow. So patients with myelodysplasia, or MDS, are given a diagnosis based on the morphology of the bone marrow and sometimes the genetics. And then they're also classified according to their prognosis using a form of the IPSS. The most common classification system now is the WHO classification of myeloid diseases, which includes AML, MDS, and myeloproliferative neoplasms, or MPN. And so there are subdivisions of MDS patients. There are also patients with MDS who have overlap syndromes, so-called MDS-MPN. These are patients who have some low blood counts, but also some elevated blood counts. And the treatment of them can be different than for patients with MDS. And the classification systems now are trying more and more to incorporate genetics. For instance, the DEL5Q or 5Q minus syndrome, a distinct entity, and other entities that are based on genetics that may have a distinct prognosis and at some point in the future a distinct and novel type of therapy.